What's up everyone? I hope you're all having a great day. Today I want to share something with you that I learned a while ago. It made my life a lot easier as a 3D artist. What a lot of beginner 3D artists do, and I myself am guilty of doing this when I first started selling my 3D models, was having separate UV maps for each part in a single model. It was a horrible way of packaging textures and a very inefficient workflow. To help you avoid this mistake, I'll show you how I go about creating a single UV map for a model with multiple parts. Let's go! Here's a simple model I prepared. First, we UV unwrap each part of this mesh by adding seams to the following edges. Once we've marked all the seams, we select everything by clicking A. Now we right click and click unwrap. Remember that we don't join all the parts yet. After you're done UV unwrapping all the parts, make sure that you move all the UVs outside the square into a random place nearby. We do that because we don't want the UVs of every single part to layer up on top of one another like this once we join all the parts. Now once we we have all our UVs unwrapped and out of the way, you can go ahead and select all the parts and join them with a Control plus J. Head over to your UV unwrapping mode and start arranging and packing all these UVs inside this area. You can now rescale your UVs to have a more uniform texture size throughout your model. You can preview your UV projection by adding a checker texture and attaching the vector to the UV in the texture coordinate node. Great! We now have a single UV map for the entire model, which you can use to apply individual PBR textures to the entire model and bake the texture so that we can use it in games and animations. I guess that's it for today. Thank you for watching and take care.